Welcome to EC Official. Today we'll talk about Mac Pro hard drive recovery and how to replace it on Mac. Whether you're dealing with lost data or looking to upgrade your MacBook Pro's hard drive, we've got you covered. Can you recover lost data from old Mac Pro HDD? Yes, let's dive right in. Firstly, when does a Mac hard drive recovery is needed? Well, Mac hard drive recovery will be needed in several situations, such as files have been mistakenly deleted, the hard drive has become corrupted due to software issues, the drive has suffered physical damage, the operating system has crashed, making data inaccessible, then, how to recover the hard drive from Mac. EC Data Recovery is a comprehensive tool designed for easy and efficient data recovery. It can recover data from over 2,000 storage devices like PCs, USB drives, SD cards, cameras, hard drives, SSDs, and more. And it can recover 1,000 plus file types including photos, videos, documents, audio, and emails. There are two scan modes you can choose, Quick Scan and Deep Scan, and the recovery success rate of Deep Scan is 98.6%. How to use EC Data Recovery. First, download and install EC Data Recovery on your Mac. Open the application and select the type of data you want to recover. Photos, documents. Choose the hard drive you want to scan and start the scanning process. After the scan, preview the found files and select the ones you wish to recover. Click on the Recover button to restore your data. How to replace the hard drive in MacBook Pro. Way 1. Clone hard drive with cloning software. Install a reliable cloning software like Carbon Copy Cloner. Connect the new SSD to your Mac using a USB adapter. Open Carbon Copy Cloner and select your current hard drive as the source. Choose the new SSD as the destination. Click on Clone to start the process. Wait for it to complete. Once done, verify the cloned data on the new SSD. Way 2. Replace HDD with SSD. Shut down your MacBook Pro and disconnect all cables. Use a screwdriver to remove the screws on the back cover. Carefully disconnect the battery to avoid any short circuits. Locate the hard drive, remove the screws securing it, and disconnect the SATA cable. Connect the new SSD to the SATA cable and secure it with screws. Reconnect the battery and screw the back cover back in place. Way 3. Restore data to newly installed SSD. If you cloned your drive, boot your Mac from the new SSD. If you have a time machine backup, connect the backup drive and use Migration Assistant to restore your data. Alternatively, you can manually transfer data from a backup to your new SSD. How do you know if my Mac SSD is bad? Here are signs your Mac SSD might be failing. Your Mac will crash or freeze regularly. Noticeably slow performance during normal tasks. Frequent file corruption or errors when opening files. Your Mac takes a long time to boot up or fails to boot. Thank you for watching our video. See you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you for your support.